The isopod device is a vinyl enclosure which creates a negative pressure environment for transporting a highly infectious patient. This tool is a resource available to many hospitals in Nebraska. The isopod would be used in the transport of a known or suspected case of a highly infectious disease. The disease might be naturally occurring, acquired through travel or exposure to certain animals or sick people. The disease could also be the result of a laboratory exposure or bioterrorism event. Some extremely drug-resistant organisms might also be a reason to use the isopod for transfer. In the transfer of any patient like this, it is important to contact your public health department both to report the ill patient and to get further guidance on the transfer process. The isopod device is not an approved device for transport in vehicles. The belts are made of vinyl instead of the tested materials seat belts in cars or airplanes are typically made of. The state of Nebraska has approved the use of the isopod device for transport of these special patients. The device should be secured as well as possible using standard seat belts and used only in ground transportation. Highly infectious patients should be wearing a mask as soon as their condition is suspected. They may also be dressed in a gown and gloves to prevent the spread of infectious particles from their clothing or hands. A patient should be transferred into the isopod with special care to reduce the physical contact with the external surfaces of the device. Once the patient is settled, the external surfaces of the isopod device can be wiped down with bleach or antimicrobial wipes. The isopod is a small enclosed space from the patient's point of view. Just like when we transfer any patient with a gurney or cart, we want to move them feet first to reduce their disorientation. The patient will hear white noise from the hum of the blower motor. This hum may reduce their ability to understand the care team, especially if they are also in a high level of personal protective equipment. Remember that the enclosure is large and might catch wind as you move the device outside. The clear panels can also act like a greenhouse, increasing the temperature if it is a sunny day. The blower motor is constantly moving air, so the air inside the isopod is likely similar in temperature to the weather outside. For drills and exercises, the isopod can be wiped down with bleach or antimicrobial wipes. The wipes may leave a residue behind. A clean, damp cloth should remove this residue. In a real isolation situation, depending on the disease that is being isolated, it is possible that the isopod would be destroyed. In some cases, if the disease identified is treatable, the device might be cleaned and reused. These decisions will be made in concert with the public health department, clinical experts, and local authorities. As you prepare to use the isopod for a patient, consider the types of equipment you will want with the patient versus those you will need outside of the device for care. Larger items, such as blankets and pillows, will not fit into the access ports. IV bags, pulse oximeters, and defibrillators can remain outside of the device, and the wires or tubes can be strung inside through the snorkel ports. There are activities on the HEROES website regarding these vital decisions, which you may find helpful as you consider these clinical questions.